getting in the fall mood. I'm doing basically a day in my life vlog. You guys love these types of videos, but today we're gonna specifically be doing fall related activities to get me in the fall spirit. I am really, really excited. I love the fall season. Let me show you guys my outfit. This is not what I'm wearing out, by the way, for this video. It's definitely not as fall festive. So I was thinking of doing this button up kind of moment and this sweater vest. I thrifted this sweater vest. It's probably the best thing I've ever thrifted. Also that is self tanner on my bed. Just ignore that please. And then I also have these pants. So we're gonna try this on and see how this looks. I feel like this is a little too dressy for what I'm going for. I just feel very businesswoman like with this college shirt on, but I really do like the vest. So I might try to incorporate it with something else. I'm thinking about wearing these pants just because this is more fall with all the browns and I'm also wearing brown shoes. So I think this would match better. I feel like this is better because I feel like I keep on forgetting it's 70 degrees outside, not 60 or 50. And then I can take this off if it's too hot, but I don't think it will be, so I have this. I think this is cute. So. Hey guys, it's a bit later. I'm in the car now. I'm not driving, I'm parked. I ran a few errands with my mom. I got matcha and I also got a little pumpkin treat and their espresso machine was down at this Starbucks, which I've never seen happen, but we're gonna go to Starbucks together. I already planned to do that in this video. So I'm gonna go literally again, but I'm gonna get a pumpkin drink, like one of those fall kind of drinks to really get in the mood of fall here. I also wanna go to Trader Joe's and get some fall snacks. I'm really excited because because I haven't been into Trader Joe's in a really, really long time. I do need to get two ingredients to bake these pumpkin muffins that I also wanna do. I'm just gonna start driving now. I, I'm like getting hot. I try to make it feel like fall for a bit. It's just not cold enough yet for a jacket, but thankfully I still have the fall pants on. It's just still fall festive. I just realized the radio is playing at volume one. I really hope I don't get copyrighted because I didn't hear it, but I know YouTube's copyright thing is so strict. parked in the parking garage and I'm actually so surprised on why it's so crowded. It's like 1 p.m. on a Wednesday. Look at this weather though guys. It is 72 degrees and the sky is completely clear of clouds and it is so beautiful out. chaotic for no reason. I don't know why there were so many people in there. But I did get some stuff. I got two cans of pumpkin for the muffins I'm gonna make later in this video. And then I also got pumpkin spice. And then I also got the everything but bagel seasoning. I've seen so much stuff about this. Why is this so close? I've seen so much stuff about this, so I ended up getting it. It's not fall related. It's just for my own interest because I want to see what the hype is. And then for snacks, I got pumpkin spice batons. These sounded interesting. They're rolled wafers filled with pumpkin spice. And then I also got these pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzels. It literally says teeny tiny too. So it has a yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin spice seeds on it. I got these when I was walking to the checkout line, so. Oh my god, they are teeny tiny. <laughs> they were not lying when they said teeny tiny. Here, let's do a beauty guru moment. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's actually so good. What the heck? It reminds me of a white chocolate dipped pretzel, but it's got like the pumpkin going on. Now I'm intrigued and I have to try these ones. God. <laughs> okay, well it broke. We're gonna try a little piece of it. I don't really taste the pumpkin spice as much. It's still pretty good. I don't know if I would get these again, but I would definitely eat them. Like they're really yummy, they're really good. But I mean, compared to the yogurt ones that we just had, those were so, so good. My seven out of 10. The yogurt ones, 10 out of 10, 100%. The yogurt pretzels. We're gonna get a pumpkin drink from Starbucks. Thank you. Thank you. We are here. The colors yet, they're like not even falling from the trees. Everything's still super green. I just parked and got the pumpkin cream cold brew. So this is probably my favorite fall drink yet. It's so delicious. This is also my matcha from earlier. So I'm just gonna reuse this straw because I didn't want to ask for a new one. And then I also have this muffin from earlier that I'm gonna eat with it. It's literally so good. And then this muffin, I probably got a hundred times this season ever since it came out. And it's like a pumpkin spice muffin. And it's got like cream cheese filling in the middle. And I did find a recipe for this online and that's why I picked up the pumpkin like puree and spice stuff because I'm gonna try to make this at home. We have cream cheese and we're gonna bake this. I will talk to you guys when I get home. I feel like I've been in the car literally this one entire video. <laughs> All right, I'm back home now. We got the orange LED lights kind of going on right now, which is kind of fitting the fall vibe. I'm gonna take off this jacket. 
kind of hot. I'm gonna get started on the muffins soon, but I do want to give you guys a fall haul because I have a shopping addiction. I did do a fall clothing haul though a couple weeks ago, so if you want to go see it, I'll put it up on the eye right now. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I got that's on the chair right there. I think I'm just gonna put you guys right here. Hold on. I'm getting my tripod out for you guys because I cannot balance my camera on my bed. I set up my tripod. This is getting a little bit more professional. I'm gonna start off with this package that was actually gifted to me first, and then we'll get into the other stuff. And this is actually a really exciting package from Every Jewels. And I like have bought so much jewelry from them in the past and I've included it in hauls on my channel that I've bought with my own money. So when they reached out to me and wanted to send me some stuff, I fangirled so much and it was like such an honor. So this is what the package came with. It came with this really nice handwritten note and then also these two bags of jewelry. I have so many of these little baggies. I use them all the time when I travel. So here's the three rings that I picked out. Here's what the pearly ring looks like. This is what it looks like on my finger. It is so, so cute. And then I also picked out one of their plastic rings. This is called the blueberry ring. It's one of those little croissant rings. And it's that plastic material that this white ring is actually made out of. You guys always ask where it's from. And it's actually from Every Jewels as well. And I just got another one. And this one's so cool to like switch up your outfits a little bit and add a pop of color. And then this is called the angel love ring. I just think it's super, super elegant. Here it is on the finger. And then I got two necklaces from them, which I'm actually so excited about because I've never gotten any necklaces from Every Jewels. I've only gotten rings. I first got the espresso necklace and and look how cute this is and has this really nice gold chain and I really really like the heart of it because let me go get it real quick I actually have the matching ring for it this is the espresso ring so now I have the necklace that matches it probably my favorite thing <laughs> is this necklace this is called the wildflower necklace and honestly it is so so pretty the pendant is a smiley face flower with diamonds on it I just think this is so trendy and just so cute honestly it can really go with anything because there's not a specific color scheme to it and it's all bedazzled out with the diamonds and then also one thing in the note that they mentioned to me is to promote the code first order 20 so if you guys do want to get anything from their website and you want 20% off I'm guessing it's 20% off then go ahead and use that code first order 20 you'll be on the screen right now and thank you so much to every jewels for sending me this PR package highly recommend go checking out their website I'll link it down below I will start off with H&M I went to the mall a couple weeks ago I literally had this bag sitting in my room for the longest time I wanted to open them up on camera for you guys because honestly this little haul right here is so so fall and Pinteresty inspired I I don't know, I just feel like it's very, very cute. First thing I got, I'm so excited about this piece. You guys have no idea. It is a sheer brown button-up top. Like, look how cute this is. I am so, so excited to start wearing this in the fall. I got this really cute mini puffer vest, and it's not really long. It's actually cropped. It's a little short, it's a little tiny, but I honestly can't wait to style this over like super light hoodies or thinner crew necks, and I really like the color of it. And then I do have two things from Garage that was in this bag. First thing is this really cute sweater vest. I think this is so fall and winter like I just thought it was really really cute and then the next thing I got it's not really a fall piece I just thought this was good to have as a basic because I do like to wear tops like this around the house and I just thought that this would be really cute to wear around the house and then from American Eagle I used to shop all the time at American Eagle but now I really just shop at Airy I got these leggings they're the uh, fitted and flared leggings I just think this is a necessity for the fall and winter time to wear with crewnecks or anything like that and if you're curious on what this exact one is called because they have more multiple types of flared leggings. This one is called the everything flare. And then lastly, from Nordstrom Rack, I got a pair of shoes. Once again, I found these in Nordstrom Rack at a really good discounted price. These are the ultimate fall boots. Are you guys ready? I've been seeing these boots literally everywhere. And also knee-high boots, which are on my list next on what to get. There's a certain name to these boots that are super popular. Super, super excited about these. Anyways, that is my little fall haul for you guys. I hope that didn't take too long. There's actually gonna be a little bit of a change of plans here. I'm going to go pick up my sister from school now. I was gonna bake the muffins, but I was realizing that I don't have enough time to like prep them and bake them before I have to go pick her up. I didn't wanna be rushed while making them. Also, this is so off topic, but I'm like so sore. I might as well tell you guys, I started painting my bathroom last night. Yes, there's a bathroom makeover coming. I always planned to do one. I finally had time to paint after all of summer and stuff like that. But like, I have not painted like a whole room all by myself in so long. My hands and knees and like everything is aching so badly. And honestly, it makes me appreciate people who like can paint whole rooms and stuff like that as like a full-time job because honestly, it just took so much out of me. I did two coats in the bathroom yesterday and I'm not going to show you guys. I am going to keep 
it a surprise. I literally spent so long last night trying to scrub off all the paint off my hands and everything like that so you wouldn't be able to see. So it is coming soon. Just thought I would pop in and say that. Not because I'm trying to complain, but to give props to people who do painting as a living. And also just to tell you guys, I have been working on the bathroom because I literally get comments every single day if I'm doing a bathroom makeover and I've said yes. It's just it's starting to happen. Also, before I leave, I realized I never gave you guys an outfit of the day because I was in a rush this morning to get out and get going. Sunglasses, Princess Polly. Top is garage. These pants, which I love, are from Princess Polly and I'm wearing my Converse. That's what I've been kind of wearing. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> just came out of the oven and it looks really really good the cream cheese is coming out of some of the tops of them though but it's okay it is now 9 42 p.m and i'm about to get ready for bed i've been trying to wake up at like 7 38 a.m every single morning and if you do know me i am not the one to be waking up really early in the morning i usually wake up at like 11 or 12 p.m it's really really bad but that's also because i stay up till like 4 a.m but i've been trying to go to bed earlier and we're gonna do that today helps me feel so much more productive in my day helps me also go to bed early because i get tired like earlier in the night but before i wrap up this video i do want to say that the muffins were so good if you you guys are curious i did link the recipe on my instagram story i posted kind of a lot today I posted like my coffee the weather but here's the picture that i did of the muffins like when i was baking them i also did a photo of when they were done and i included the link here on my instagram story if you guys want to go check that out and also maybe follow me on there and if you don't have instagram or if you don't want to go check it out over there i'll also just link the recipe down below in the description box i highly recommend you make them because they're really really good anyways thank you guys so so much for watching if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to. And yeah, I'll see you guys all next week. Bye!